everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. Now, it's the end of January, and I would bet that majority of everyone have tomato starts going. And if you are planning to have any kind of a tomato game in spring of this year, you need to be growing this one plant that will companion plant the best at keeping the tomato hornworm away from your tomato plants. If you're wondering what that is, stand by, sit back, let's take some notes, and <laughs> let's grow. Hey, right off the bat, what's companion planting? It's very simple. There are certain plants that you wanna grow with other plants that help benefit each other. Now, I have done some videos on this subject and I'll put one of them up right here. But for the tomato plant, everyone loves growing tomatoes, right? It's the rock star of the garden. But if you wanna grow tomato plants and have a tomato game where you are not worrying so much about pests, you need to be growing basil. Basil, basil, basil. I'll put up right here just exactly how my basil game is in this garden. I grow lots and lots of basil, different kinds all over the place, and I let them go to seed. I don't use a lot of basil, even though you can use it for cooking and pestos and things of that nature, but I use it as a companion plant more than anything else in this backyard. Now currently right now I have another type of basil growing inside on the heat mat under the grow lights because I want as much basil in this backyard as possible. My goal every year when I'm gardening in spring is that when I walk outside it smells like an Italian restaurant in this backyard. Basil, basil, and then more basil. Why am I harping on basil? Basil has an incredibly strong smell as you know if you've grown basil or if you've even cooked with basil, you know that smell. Well, tomato plants have an incredibly strong smell. And if you want to keep the tomato hornworm away, you have to keep the moth away that lays the eggs for the hornworm. This moth hunts by smell. It does not hunt by sight. So if you can mask the smell of the tomato plants, then the moth can't find your tomato plants to lay its eggs on. The smell of the basil actually masks the smell of the tomato plant. So the more basil you can have in your backyard, the better to mask the smell. Now, if you let your basil go to flower, it is an amazing, an amazing plant that will bring in pollinators. The basil plant flowers so much that you will bring in pollinators galore. There are other companion plants that you should plant with your tomato plants. You want as much protection from that hawk moth as you could possibly get. So sweet alyssum, dill, radishes, if you let them go to flower, basil, 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 uh, are just to name a few. Now, Brian Lowe over on Next Level Gardening, he wrote a book a couple years ago, and I'll a put link a link to it is down below. It's Companion Planning for Beginners. That book, y'all, if you have not read it, you need to read it. it. Dedicates a section on the tomato plant and the benefits of planting basil with your tomato plants. So as he would say, if you want to take your tomato game to the next level, you want to start planting basil. And right now is when you should be planting your starts for basil if you don't already have basil established all through your garden. And even though it doesn't look like I do right now, if you look around the back, it looks all crazy and dead because it's January. But this is how it looks in May, June, and July. Okay, so how do you know if you have a tomato hornworm starting in on your plants. Well, my experience is those little punks, they start kind of toward the top of the plant and they will just start to eat everything away. As you can see on these tomato plants right here from three years ago, there are no leaves around the top. They just look like sticks. And this is the tomato hornworm that I found on those tomato plants. The thing was about three inches long. And the thing with these hornworms is they never stop eating. They just eat and eat and eat and eat. So if you get one, you're in trouble. But you can always see where they are and you can tell what's going on if you're paying attention to your plant. But let's not even worry about how to detect a hornworm. Let's just prevent them from coming in the first place. Now I'll finish this video with this right here. In 2023, I had so much basil in this backyard. I actually had more basil bringing in pollinators than I actually had flowers to bring in the pollinators. Basil was everywhere. And 2023 was my third year of gardening, but it was the first year that I did not have a single tomato hornworm 
in this garden all year. That's a big deal because as you can see, I had a lot of tomato plants. I had over 30 different indeterminate tomato plants growing along with other determinate tomato plants in other areas of the garden. And if you wanna know what the difference between a determinate and an indeterminate tomato plant is, I'll put a link to a video that I did right here and that will explain all of that. But not having a single tomato hornworm, considering the amount of tomato plants that I had, is a big deal for me. So I highly, 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 highly encourage and advise everyone watching this video to grow as much basil as you can possibly grow. And you know what? Grow different kinds because basil flowers are actually incredibly beautiful and they add a different element of beauty and functionality to your garden. So everyone, that's the video and I highly, highly encourage you to grow as much basil as you can to keep that little punk away from your tomato plant. If y'all enjoyed this video, if you learned anything from it, if you got anything out of it, do me a favor, like the video, share the video, and subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. I would love to have all of you join all of us on this journey of gardening together. Everyone take care. God bless. Get your basil plants growing and get your tomato starts growing if you haven't already. I'll talk to y'all again real soon. Bye.